Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative. So today I wanted to share with you that We Create has sent me their new infrared laser module to go on my We Create vision. So I am going to be showing you how to do that and how to use it in the We Create Make It software for a you know a couple simple simple projects. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so we've got an instruction manual. Got some metal uh, sample plates. Looks like we can test with. We've got the laser module itself here. This are some it's some tools and some screws. This is the little uh, computer like the control board, you have to switch that out with the one that's in there for the diode laser currently. And I think that is everything. And here's the module itself. Big. <laughs> All right, so now let's take it over to the machine and see how we install it. Okay, so I am over here at my laser. I have had to turn it sideways to be able to access the diode module on it. So you pull it, push it all the way to the front so you can get to it. This is a little bit tricky <laughs> in terms of like, if you have an awkward space like I do to get to, I'll just warn you, it's tough. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove, there's four screws here. So it's this one, this one, and then there are two under here. Okay, so I'm unscrewing this one and this one. This one, and then the one over on the, on the other side. And that's to remove the diode laser module. The picture in the little instruction manual is a lot more helpful. Now, because I can't film this very well, it's a little bit awkward from where I am in my space, I will link to a another video below by a different YouTuber that has really good shots of like where these screws are and how to do this. So bear with me while I attempt to unscrew these, um, these screws, <laughs> basically. So you don't want to lose the screws. There are replacements that come with the, uh, laser, the new laser head, but just be careful because <laughs> you don't want to lose all of them. That would be bad. All right, now I need to um, remove this wire or this ribbon basically from the control board. So I, there's a piece of tape over it that I've pulled off. And then you have to kind of, there's a very, very skinny little black piece that you pull up. And then you just pull the wire out, I believe. Yep. Okay, so it comes out just like that. So I'm just gonna very carefully lay it down. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see, and apparently, okay, so now I can just pull the laser module out. I'm gonna just set this down. All right, so there's this very like small <laughs> uh, zip tie here that I need to cut off. I have a wire cutter here, and so I'm hoping that this is gonna work. Okay, and then I just need to unscrew the, the air hose, this guy from the rest of it. So this is the diode module. So I'm gonna just take this and set it somewhere safe. <laughs> okay, so now I have to unplug the circuit board here. All right, so one thing I want you guys to be aware of, this was glued together in my machine. Now, I don't know if that's because this is an earlier version of the laser than what's being released right now. So this was really, really, really hard to get apart. Like my husband had to, I had grabbed him because I thought I don't have the hand strength. He couldn't do it either. 
Um, so then we had to grab some tools and like very carefully pry this apart. So just be sure that you do not damage any of the pins that are on the this front part where this clicks into, where this clicks in, because you need those to be correct in order for this circuit board to work. All right, so now I have to remove this little circuit board here. Okay, so there's tape on this. So it does say to remove the, to pull the tape back like so, to reveal this part. All right, so then I need to unplug this cable. So I'm like lifting up, I had to pop up that little black piece. Okay, so that just kind of pulls up. Okay, and then now I need to, um, oh, I don't wanna bend that. Um, unscrew these things and pull the circuit board off. So there we go. All right, and then here's the replacement circuit board. So I'm just gonna put that basically exactly where that other one was. and screw it down again. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this ribbon and put feed it into this guy. And for this, you have to pull it. There's a little black latch on the back. So pull that up and then the, the ribbon will go in and then you push it back down to secure it and then tape back over it. Okay, and then replace this into the new circuit board. Okay, went in really easy. All right, and now I'm gonna install, this is the new laser module. It is bigger than the old one. You can kind of see the difference here. So this is the new one and this is the old one. Now you do not need air assist for, for an infrared laser, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, and so now I'm just gonna screw the four holes that are here, 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 and here, back down the way uh, we unscrewed it on the other one. So I do need to fit this guy into the slot. I'm gonna pull up that ribbon that I unplugged from the first one. And then I'm, I'm kind of sticking this under. Let me just um, hang that ribbon over the top for now. Okay, and now I'm just taking this, flipping up the black piece on the back here and feeding this cable back in here until it won't, until it stops. And then I'm just pressing that black piece down. Now it's the test to see if I did that correctly, um, I'm gonna hook it up to the software. All right, so I'm in We Create Make It and we can see over here, two watt is showing and it's got the little green light. So it has been installed correctly. Yay. Now I did take one of the pieces of aluminum sheets that they send as a sample and I have like put in a design from the we create make it software and I have it set on fill and gray which is what I want to do and I'm going to just test this out on this piece of aluminum so what I'm, I'm going I'm going over to acrylic or I mean the the drop down menu under materials and I'm going to metal all right, so these these metal sheets are like really thin. I don't think it's even 0.8 millimeters, but that's my choice. I'm just gonna hit confirm. And then I'm gonna click autofocus. Machine is going up and down. Looks like the new laser module's working just fine. And now I'll hit start. And I'll hit send. And then it's gonna prompt me to click the button on the machine.
So after I did this really cool one, I wanted to see how detailed the infrared laser could get. So I picked some really intricate designs and I shrunk them way down on this aluminum, kind of like a necklace charm, I guess. And hopefully you can see how amazing that turned out. Now, don't look at how off center it is <laughs> because that's my fault, but look at all the little dots and all the tiny details that it was able to engrave on this disc that's, I don't know, like the size of a quarter. It's pretty small, but you can see it got all the tiny little veins on the flower, the veins in the leaves, these tiny dots. I mean, it's pretty impressive. And so then I tried doing a filigreed letter and hopefully you can see there all the tiny little details it got on that too. Like that is really, really cool. And finally, I did a, like a single line design. So this would be the kind of thing that you would normally use like a pen or you would foil if you were using like a Cricut, for example. And it did a really, really nice job on that too. So then I decided I would do a larger design that was really detailed and look at how cool that came out. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely stunning. But here's the thing I really want to show you. I want to show you the difference between the diode laser and the infrared laser on, this is stainless steel. These, these are all aluminum. This, this is stainless steel with the diode laser and you can see like, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. And you know, I, the off centering is my fault, um, but it doesn't show up that great. You know, like it's kind of, you can see it, but it's not super stand out. Like you don't notice it the way you do on this one. Like, look at this one. If I can get you, so you're not seeing the camera. Now this, with the stainless steel, I got to pick the color. So I kind of picked the brown color from the quick view matrix in the WeCreate software to get that brown color, but it is really stunning. And now granted, this isn't as detailed as like some of these smaller ones or even this one, but it still just looks fantastic. And especially, hopefully you can tell the difference between the diode laser, like it almost kind of looks like a watermark even on the coaster, as opposed to this, where you're like, wow, that is a really cool design under that coaster. <laughs> so that's where you can really see the difference that the infrared laser module makes versus the diode laser on metal. It's, it's enormous. It's a, just a huge difference and it's amazing. Okay. So overall, like, what do I think? Would I recommend the infrared laser? Well, I think it depends. I do think it's a very high quality laser head. It did an amazing job on all of the things that I tried. I'm really impressed with the amount of detail it is able to bring out, especially on these like tiny, tiny little designs. If you, if you do a lot of metal engraving for your business or for gifts or what, you know, however you like to use your laser, then I think it is well worth the investment to get this to add on to your diode laser because this is really phenomenal as far as the quality of what it's able to produce on metal. I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I will say it's not super fast. So it's a two watt laser. So it does take some time to do like all of these probably took, mm, I don't know, like a minute each. That's not too bad. These probably took, I don't know, in the 10 to 15 minute range, but this one took about an hour. So I don't know if that's because it's stainless steel versus aluminum, because it's not as intricate as this one. And this one took a lot less time, but it may just be like the power and the speed to get this like really cool um, color on the stainless steel may just take longer. So, you know, if you're thinking you're going to be making a whole bunch of these, these style of coasters in a really quick fashion, you're probably not going to be able to do that. Now, I will say that switching out the laser heads for me as a total, like, you know, more or less a laser newbie, 
it wasn't hard, but it also wasn't super easy either. I think now that I've done it once, I could definitely do it again much more quickly than what I was able to do the first time. And just like sort of figuring out where the screws were and that kind of stuff was not the easiest task for me, but I am not someone who works with lasers regularly all the time. So with that said, I do think that it is something that you would need to think about switching out and and keeping in your machine for a fear for a period of time because it's not something that you're gonna be able to swap out like every day for example just because i don't think it's that quick and easy to do but i do think it's worth it if this is something you are interested in doing like highly detailed metal engraving it's like again the difference between these two is so impressive that I think if you are particularly interested in metal engraving, it's well worth the investment. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you an idea of whether you want the infrared laser head or not. I do think it is a really, really excellent addition to the WeCreate vision. WeCreate is really coming out with a lot of cool new add-ons for the laser engraver that I think are amazing. And I'm sure there'll be even more in the future. They are very responsive to you know customer feedback. And I think that that's fantastic for a laser, especially for someone like me, who is like a craft hobby level laser person, as opposed to a professional. So I'm curious, what do you think? Are you going to invest in the infrared laser? You know, are you more experienced than I am? So maybe that seems like a great thing for you. Or even if you're like a crafty laser person, do you want to use the infrared laser just as a really cool addition to your craft room materials and machines? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to find out. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out quite a bit. And if you're curious about more laser crafting, Cricut crafting and other kinds of electronic cutting machine crafting, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great day.